Welcome to the new Grease Pencil 2.92 features. I'm in the beta version, the 2.92, and we're going to select a 2D animation. And the first thing we're going to look at is the improved join operator. Before joining was done using the order of the strokes. Now it calculates the distance and tries to join the endpoints. You can select both recently joined points and then extrude and scale them. Uh, before we begin, we always we want to make sure all our settings are correct. We want to make sure we're in draw mode. And here I am drawing, and I'm leaving space for the join to be done later. So as I do this, I'm trying to make sure, because I have thick pressure sensitivity, I'm trying to make sure the ends are almost the same size, but that's not being very successful there. So now I'm going to join the points, and I'm going to go to edit mode, select the two endpoints, and do control J to join them. Select, control J, select, control J to join the strokes. And another way to do that is to go to stroke, join, and that will do it. So we'll go up top to the menu, stroke, join, join. Why do I have join, join twice? That is two different ways to join, that's why. So stroke, control J, stroke, Control J, stroke, control J. And that is the new feature there. Now there's another way to join the points. You can do it automatically. So you can select auto merge. And as you end the following stroke, it automatically joins them as you can see here. So here I am making the first stroke. Second stroke, when I end that, it joins the two strokes. And when I do that, it joins this stroke. And that is how auto merge works. You have to have auto merge selected for this function to work. And that's it. Now let me Make the stroke bigger and turn off pressure sensitivity and do some strokes on the side here because your mileage is going to vary because depending on the distance, the strokes will not join with auto merge. I'm going to make this stroke even larger. So see, some of the strokes don't merge and I don't know what the actual distance needs to be for auto merge to work. Whether it has something to do with the thickness of the of the stroke or just the distance or a combination of the two. Now uh, you see it works there. And those last two, I don't know why it didn't work on the other ones. So again, this is a beta version. That could be a bug that will be fixed by the time it becomes live. Now we're going to talk about the flat caps. Now I have my little royal beauty here, and we're going to decorate her veil. And let me zoom in so you can see uh, what I'm about to do more clearly. And I'm adding some little decoration here. So I'm going all the way down, and I have specifically created this at an angle. So we can see what happens as I use the cutting tool to the strokes, to the caps of the strokes as it crosses the line. So if we zoom in, we see that some of the rounded 
ends of the strokes are peeking through where it crosses the line of the veil. So now let's start with a fresh veil. And I'm going to do this again. Before I started cutting, I selected flat caps. And now you can see there's a difference in the strokes as it meets the line of the veil. So let's zoom in closer. You can see it's nice and even. Notice if the angle is very extreme, it's still possible to view some sections of the cut stroke. However, it is a flat cap in any case, and only a little bit is sticking out, as you can see here. Now we have trace image sequence. Previously, you could bring in a still image and trace that. Now, you can trace a whole sequence. Here's a little person I have moonwalking. And now we're into Blender, and I take that MPEG file, drag it into the Blender window, and it automatically imports. So there's my person. And you can see it works fine when I hit the play button. Now I'm going to go to object, down to trace image grease pencil, and select sequence. Click OK. And now I want to move that over. And this is my grease pencil object. Now I'm going to hit play. You can see both are animated at the same time and they're in sync and it looks like it did a pretty good job and you can see this is a full grease pencil object you can see it as it rotates and now if I go to edit mode click select point and I can pull out the grease pencil points because we have a fully functioning grease pencil here now we move to the curve editing tool now in edit mode, you can edit your grease pencil strokes or the curve tool strokes. I have my pipe cleaner man here. And the thing I want to do is use the curve editing tool to make the width of the pipe cleaners constant. Now I want to go into edit mode, make sure I check curve editing, make sure I check Bezier curve. And now I'm going to zoom in and start editing and start showing you what you can do before I uh, go in and, and actually do that because it'll be so minute. So I want to show you this on a larger scale. So here I am just tweaking, make sure the tweak is select on the selection so I can manipulate the points using the handles or the point itself. You can use the move tool to move the point around in any direction. Use the extrude tool to extrude a point. And also I can widen the width of my stroke at a certain point that I've selected, as you can see here. And I can move that point as well. And manipulate that as I'm editing the curve any way I want. Okay, that's enough playing around. Let's get down to business and fix my pipe cleaner man. Okay, so here I'm um, using the curve editing tool and I am moving the points so I can get a constant width, somewhat constant width, between uh, the strokes that I've drawn. So I'm moving them and adjusting them as needed. Now if this was a live job or going to be a live animation, it would take a little bit more time, but I don't want to bore you to tears while you see me manipulate every little point to the exact space that I want it to be.
and I probably would do this differently if it was live anyway. Okay, now that's done. Okay, now here's where instead of just manipulating, I decided I want to change the design. So these little round portions of the tattoo here, I want to make those pointy. So everything I've done before is what I'm doing here. Let me zoom in so you can see a little bit better. So I'm pulling out the stroke, pulling out the lines, moving the points around, adjusting them so that the decoration on the person has a little bit more flair instead of the round nubby points that I had before. Uh, I think this will look a little bit more dynamic. And this is what you can do with the Curve Editing Tool. Not just adjust strokes, but you can actually change them if a design is not good. You know, not just little manipulations. You can do very whole scale changes with them. And now uh, here we are. I think this design looks much better.